Hey friends, it's Andrea from Retailing the Freedom. Welcome back to the warehouse. It's delivery day, and this one has me slightly concerned. <laughs> By slightly, I mean, I'm starting to get a little worried. We'll go with worried. So it should be here in about three or four hours, but it's a single, I'm a single delivery, so they usually come early, which is typically okay with me because it is a truckload. Yes, that's correct. A truckload of seasonal items. Today is December 15th. So typically our next auction would start tomorrow and then end next Saturday, which is December 23rd. <laughs> so we actually won it for a really good price, which at a first glance, like, oh, that's okay. And I've never seen anything we've won that did not have a specific number of pallets. It literally just says truckload and 229 items. I need numbers, I need, I need four. My hallway is almost clear. But now that I've realized I have so much stuff coming, the stuff at the other end or on the corner, I'm gonna stack that up and shimmy some of that down here to get it out of the way. Cause I just looked at the manifest. So let's go over some of the numbers I do have. Retail value is $22,000. It's all from Costco. 229 items, seasonal, AB conditioned, which is what we always want. And we paid with freight $2,800, which is pretty good. The actual auction that we won was 1,025. So when somebody placed the bid, Opening bid was $1,000, he made his bid 1025 and won. Was never outbid, which is a good deal, but oh my god. And even on the pictures, they do have some. They're just a few pictures of the pails, and they're tall, which means I can't get them down my hallway. I might have to unload them out there, take some apart, and then move them down the hallway. I'll have to see what it looks like. While looking at the manifest, there's a total of 61 different items. And they normally go in order from most expensive to least expensive. So the most expensive item is a nine foot Christmas tree, which typically is two boxes, depending on how fat it is and just the style. So I have nine of those coming. Seven and a half foot micro LED, five of those. Seven foot LED tree, 12 of those. I did see a few things that I kind of want to keep. We have a long gravel driveway and we wanted to put candy cane lights in them, but we had old ones. I didn't think about it till later and we're getting some on this delivery. So I think I might, I might have to keep some of those. Some of the stuff I might be able to put on eBay just because it'll be after Christmas and I might be able to get more money through eBay as opposed to the auction. Like people still go crazy over certain Disney things and I did see a Disney holiday train three piece set. I don't know what that is, I'll have to look that up. And some of it like C9 lights, those will take up a lot of space. And I just took another load of recycling to the place not too far away and I have zero extra recycling right now. In some of the pictures, I could see that they had the cardboard boxes that are a pain because they're too thick and I can't smash them down coming on this delivery. So on some of the pictures, they do show a few of them, but my only concern is they're tall and they're the long pail. So as long as I can have the driver park at the dock, it'll be easier than unloading those in the parking lot. It's not as cold today and I have a full-blown Christmas attire on since we're having a Christmas delivery, but some of this stuff is, the, the pictures look sad and there's probably seven or eight now if it's eight pallets, there's no way it can be eight pallets with that many trees, but that would be fantastic. Like this picture alone is full of small boxes and I see cute little reindeer, man. But we just got it. It's two weeks from Christmas. I will keep some of the stuff until next year. I've actually cleared out a decent amount of space on the other side. So I will maybe move stuff over there once I sort through everything. But until the driver gets here in plus or minus three-ish hours, I'm gonna go rearrange more stuff down there. But currently, my hallway is pretty darn clear. Okay guys, the truck is here and this driver actually had his dog with him. Big old bad pit bull and he was adorable. So they're moving the other truck in the parking lot for me. Pull in and there's only eight pallets. I'm so relieved.
Okay guys, unloaded way better than I thought and I'm so glad that I asked that they could move the truck in the parking lot because Costco pallets are usually so long. I kind of teeter-totter and there was one that was missing like half the slats. So unloading that in the parking lot, I could have done it. It would have been way harder and take me way longer. So I'm glad I cleaned a bunch of stuff out. I've made more space. I shifted some pallets down. So I have to move, I think, two more down the hallway. One won't fit because it's too tall, like this Christmas tree box right here. She is 100% not sitting down the hallway like that. So I might take apart the other two, push them down, and then leave this one out here. But, and I have another five pallets coming next week. So we gotta, we gotta sort. And the good thing about these, they're smaller items, so excluding the Christmas trees. I can put these on the shelf and they take up less floor space. The last delivery was a bunch of larger boxes, so it was a lot harder to find floor space for them. So uh, let's shimmy some stuff down. Everything is down, almost down the hallway. I left two of the big ones out there, two or three of the big Christmas trees. I can leave those for last. I'll get the small stuff in. And as I suspected, lots of cardboard again. Dang it, and I was literally there. Today it's Friday, I was there last Friday. Rats. That's all right. I'm pretty familiar with going to the recycling place. I loaded up in the back of the truck. I will add a picture of me here. And I just pull up to the back of the big garbage pile of cardboard, throw it out, and move on my business. So let's open some of the stuff and see what we have. I know there's one thing that I want to keep already. And I can justify it, but let's open some stuff. So the plan is, I'm gonna load up cart A, put everything in, my table's nice and clear, I wiped all down yesterday, I have the snack, I just warmed up coffee, I mean it's Christmas time, I have hot chocolate with me here, I thought I tried to buy my microwave last week, not for sale, it's for me. Load up my cart, so far we have, oh, Disney train set, heck yeah, and Squishmallows, now I've seen the, it's oh, missing one, <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to be like that, no, nope, includes eight, <laughs> I mean, they're different ones, so I can combine them and have one full set. That's kind of funny. And then I'll load them, I'll process everything, print stickers, and as I'm done, I'll put it on Betty, the other cart, because yes, we've named them all. And then uh, after I do a bunch of them, I'll roll them down the hallway and place them on the rack, because it's just easier instead of doing one at a time to save time. I think I saw another one of these Disney's. Let me check. Okay, I did find another one. Lots and lots of wreaths down there. Some really cool stuff. I don't see why it won't sell well because Christmas is so popular and decorations are expensive. Like the tag on this one says retail or return to customer depending on how long they've had it. I've learned that they only get like a percentage depending on the item for a return. This is like 130 bucks. So let's load my cart, get myself situated, turn on some music, Christmas music, some jamming tunes, maybe both. We'll have to see what I can find. Okay, we've made it through 70% of all of the Christmas stuff. We go through a spell of having everything perfect, nothing broken, to things, I will show you, that are just completely smashed. I have two gingerbread houses that are just crumbled to pieces, cracked all over. You open the box and just things fall out. I've actually gone through and checked a lot of the outdoor Christmas lights because half of them didn't work, but I'll still put the C9 lights through the auction because even us at our own house will buy replacement bulbs just because they're easy to swap out and they're cheaper than buying a whole new strand. Some of those strands of lights were like 25 bucks for a single strand. Some of them had sets of two. So I'm still gonna put those through. I might do maybe lots of two with some of them. We have so many, but I am covered head to toe in glitter. The whole hallway is covered with glitter. I sold a few trees. I just have to be picked up. We have an auction ending in a few days and then I'll put more stuff through. I was a little bummed with as many of like the candy cane lights that were broken. Were they broken and returned? Do I believe all the stickers? No, I did laugh at one. It said a rabbit chewed through the cord. Some of the lights I did throw away because they were just cut in half, seared into pieces. It, I threw those away. I think it's like four or five total. So this is one of the gingerbread houses. I'm actually afraid to even stand it up. The things are gonna fall off. That is broken. Like I can stick my finger through there and it just, it's all wiggly. It all falls apart. I'm not putting batteries in it to test it because it's broken. I'm wondering if it is somebody will buy it from through the auction. I have two of them just like this, but you never know. I have giant trees. I have a whole slew of nine foot trees. I have three that are supposed to be picked up. Uh, for next year, they're just gonna hold on to them. And I have four pallets coming tomorrow, so I need to clear more stuff out of my hallway. But I do have some space still, and once I move these big trees, it'll clear up the whole space. I have one and a half pallets out there that I'm debating on leaving for now, just because they're all trees. And the nine foot trees, there's three or four on a pallet and one or two other big boxes. So I might just leave those out there. Some of the wreaths didn't work, and I didn't notice it at first that you actually can plug them in. I just thought of wreaths as you hang on your front door. 
So those we went back through and checked most of those. And then I have them in sections of different colors. There's red ones, there's one fall. Silver, red, glitter, no glitter, acorns, plain, in boxes, out of boxes. So it wasn't bad delivery. It would have been better to have it like two weeks ago before Christmas, but that's just the way it goes sometimes. So even these big boxes here, the nine foot ones, thank God they're just individual boxes. The 12 foot trees and the 15 foot trees are two and three boxes. So this is, I guess, a little easier. So I'll move these tomorrow. I thought I had to wait on here, but I don't remember. But I think Christmas was, was a success. Even looking at this hallway, I'm like, I should stay longer, but I'm getting cold. It's like 32 degrees, so I'm gonna call it for today. You guys know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you next time. And everybody, have a happy holiday.